hooves. They seem to come in very different shapes. Or that is what you have been made to believe. The truth is, each horse has the same bones, tendons and cartilages inside. So why are the capsule shapes so different? It's because humans have been taking care of them. For centuries, the hoop capsule was seen as the foot of the horse without any understanding of the internal structures. It was modified by trimmers and farriers into various shapes following trends, fashion or misconceived notions that the hoof is made of different parts disconnected to each other. But the capsule must reflect that inner structure because it is a unit. And every external part must match what it is internal for. This is how it realizes its full functionality. That is what TACT, which stands for the Anatomical Correct Trim, is all about, which is letting the capsule grow from the inner foot just as it is meant to. But in order to achieve that, we must first understand the anatomy of the hoof. This is a perfect hoof. The shape of the capsule is according to the internal structures. All the horn tubules are parallel, from the dorsal wall to the heels. The hairline is a straight line, and all the growth rings growing from the coronary band are also straight lines. There are two thirds before and one third of the foot behind the bone spine, and most of the part is occupied by the heels. Let's remove the dermis tissue, the corim. Now let's go deeper into the very center of the foot. Oval, not round. Spade shaped, not oval. Often bone covers approximately the half of the foot. But what about the other half?
Just below the corbium, we find more digital cushion that extends beyond the frog area. The lateral cartilages are attached to the coffin bone at the palmar processes and they also fuse with the digital cushion, giving protection to the tendons. Healthy hoof has a well-developed frog state. It is one of the most important parts of the shock absorption system, yet it's very underrated. The bulbs are not in contact with the ground when the horse is standing and the hairline is horizontal. 